Hi folks, this is Mike Terrace with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game and I'm just taking a little walk on a very popular ski trail right uh, right outside of Fairbanks and I'm walking down here, I'm kind of looking for interesting tracks and sign and a lot of people are coming by here skiing and biking and there's a lot of dog sign on the trail as well, a lot of fox but I just wanted to show you some sign that caught my eye that was a little out of the usual for this place although um, not completely unexpected. Uh, let's take a look. So as I was walking I looked at the side of the trail and I noticed this interesting track pattern in the snow. You can see that right going right under that birch tree and the thing that caught my eye was one this animal is walking on top of the snow. We do now that it's spring we've had some warming weather we have a nice crust developed on the snow but up to this point where that crust gets really hard, um, the only thing that's walking on top of that crust so far has been foxes and lynx. And this is obviously not a fox trail that I'm looking at here. I could tell things that I'm looking at. The trail is very wide. Um, I see distinct toes, very small toes, and there's four of them without any claws. And they are very rounded tracks, wide, almost as wide as they are, or wider than they are long. So, and then this animal, it's not even doing a direct register walk, which it usually does in deep snow, because it's floating so well, it is doing an overstep walk. And this course is a lynx trail, and it's actually pretty fresh, um, because we just got dusting of snow yesterday, last, yesterday night, I believe. So those are some of the things that we're looking for. I'll try to take a closer look at one of the tracks. You can see, here is a, just as a comparison, next to it, I see somebody's dog has walked up on the trail. This isn't a fox, it's got really large toe pads. There's one, two, three, four, and you can see the blunt claws on there. So someone's dog has actually crossed right where this lynx trail goes. And here we are back to the lynx trail. And you can immediately see the difference with this track. See a very small palm pad, one, two, three, four teardrop shaped toes. And there's a lot of space between those toes because they barely show up through the thick fur that's on the lynx. So we'll take a look at this trail. It's also got a wide, pretty wide trail width. That means from the left side of the trail to the right side um, because cats usually walk. And when they walk, they have a wider stance. Um, so what we're looking at in an overstep walk is Here's the right side of the body, left side, the right side. In an overstep walk, the front foot lands, and then the hind foot lands beyond the front foot. And you'll notice in most uh, ungulates or hoofed animals and dogs and cats, um, most, of the, most of them, the front feet are larger. But on a lynx, the hind feet are actually larger. And you can see that showing up when the hind foot, when it lands here, is bigger than the front track, which is pretty unusual in the animal world that that's the case unless you're uh, looking at rodents so again here there's one two three four little toes and a very small palm pad that shows up clearly our links here and a really nice trail on a really nice day to be out here and I just continue walking down this trail um, I saw some other neat tracks I was gonna show you what uh, what the uh, lynx is looking for. And we have some snowshoe hair tracks. That's why that lynx is passing through here. And sure enough, I came across a bunch of snowshoe hair sign in this area. You can see where it's all tracked up and beaten down. And the snowshoe hair has been feeding on twigs in here, nipping all these twigs off very close to the ground now. And sure enough, right where that was, um, there's a, here's a, actually a smaller hair right here. Uh, and as I was looking around at this hair sign right here comes the lynx back into the picture and he's back in an overstep walk there's also a vole trail right here next to that and to throw in a even another trail here's a red squirrel trail on top of that so you can see a lot of a lot of sign and a lot of activity going out here in the spring and this is that lynx trail continuing on and once again, you can see where this hair is beating this down. And you can take a look. Um, these tracks here and this hair, they are a little bit older than the lynx. Um, they're flattened out and melted out a tad bit. The, these 
Lynx tracks are a lot crisper and a lot fresher. So yeah, there you go, that lynx is definitely cruising along here. There's a lot of hair sign throughout this area. So just keep going.